afford you to be sick. Oh, look at that tree. It's pretty. You can't see it. Just, uh, but it's, it's blooming. Some pretty white flowers. Maybe I should take the keys out of the room. Yeah, I think so. So. Pretty stream. I just love being in the woods. Yeah. It really calms my nerves. Where's the mini? Traded it straight up for this hog. <laughs> gets every mile to the gallon. <laughs> Got it! Got him! So I don't know what happened, but we stalled out. And now he's leaving me. What the fuck? Hello? What the fuck, dude? It's working again. It's working. Stop Bumpy. working.
these nice ones and they gave us the ugly Could have had one of those nice ones that didn't stall out on us. Stop smoking. Brisket sandwich. Brisket sandwich. Mac and cheese corn. Mac and cheese, green beans, minus pickles. This is what it looks like inside. So, wheat. And then after this, we're going to try to make sunset over at the casino. See if we can get a shot of the wheat. Make it. Never heard. Pretty cool place. It's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. Very good. We recommend it. Yes. Sad and not having too. Okay, so we just finished eating at Can't Stop Smoking Barbecue in Redoso, and uh, overall, I mean, the food's good. It's good. Yes. It's really good. Uh, the only complaints were that. You had to go outside to go back inside to use the restrooms and there were no signs saying where the restrooms were so that was confusing and Mike what's your complaint? Okay you got no toothpicks? <laughs> I can have a barbecue with no toothpicks. That's the sound of a man. Yeah. A toothpickless man. No toothpicks? With meat stuck in his teeth probably. Brisket up in there. We eat brisket later on, hours later. <laughs> we'll just save it for later. <laughs> yeah. Gross. What's this guy doing? I don't know. God go damn it. Way. I gotta get all upset on the roads of Ridoso. Roads of Ridoso. Anyway. Alright. Well, now we're headed to the casino. The sun is still out. Maybe we can still catch the sunset. Yes. Shot of the lake. May and have a chance. In the back, back side of the casino as well. Ah, but did we pass the coffee? We did. Thank God. No, it's up here, isn't it? It's right it's there. Ridiculous. We didn't pass it. God I'll damn it! Out. We can't get away from the coffee. We're never gonna get the sunset now. No, it's because look, I had. How a, many times do you need coffee? I had a nice coffee. And now it's getting dark and colder. They have Starbucks in the inn. You know that, right? It's probably fake ass Starbucks, dude. Well, the label is there, the symbol is there. Yeah, I don't trust that. Remember the Starbucks over at the Polo Towers in Vegas? One, it didn't even come in a Starbucks labeled cup. Why don't you just start smoking cigarettes? It's the same thing. No, it's not. We keep going to the store for your fix. I don't get my nails done. I don't get my hair done. I'm not like a not shopping a freak. <laughs> I could shoot heroin, but go to church every day of the week. That doesn't make it right. What? <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm gonna get my coffee. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do any drugs and the world's a better place for it and the world's an even better place right, then I'm gonna get a coffee then. when the house love gets her coffee let me know when that one shows up <laughs> let me know when she
is how it looks like during the day. You can actually see stuff. turn out very bad. We didn't do two circles around the little fountain in the front like we did when we first got here. We didn't revisit that same church. Do you have your lucky penny? I have my lucky penny. And guess what? We did saw we did see a church today. I have my lucky penny. We did walk into a church in Lincoln, in the town of Lincoln. So see if that helps us. Yep. Okay, we'll let you know. All right, so this is our report <laughs> from the look of Hog's face. What are you doing? He's hiding behind the couch. He's ashamed. I'm mad. He's mad. I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired. We got on tilt. Yeah. We were doing so good. We were, and then it just took one table. One pissed table us off. that the we did The people didn't... that were playing pissed us off. Yeah. And once we got on tilt, that was it. We were just playing stupid. Yeah, so the first table we sat at was really good for us. At least for me. Fresh. I made yeah, yeah I made two fifty on that table. And um, so that was almost doubling my money. I brought three hundred and so I sh and then I made the first 250 pretty easy. Um, and then it was that last 50 that I was trying to double so that I could just say I doubled, you know? And uh, then some, I guess they were meth heads, I don't know. But they came and sat at our table and this dude was stood on a 14 against the dealer's 10. So that was pretty dumb. So that pissed us off, so we walked away from that table. And then we went and sat at another t $10 table both of them were $10 tables. We sat at our second $10 table and um, it was like hit or miss, but I messed up because it was a $10 minimum table and I was uh, betting $25 hands, which I probably shouldn't have done because I didn't have a, enough, a big enough bankroll to be doing that. So that's when I was down. That was when I actually lost my winnings and started, I guess, from scratch with my 300. Um, and when I walked away from that table, I was down 100 before we went to that $15 table. So we moved to a different table, $15 table. And um, it was, we were making some money. Yeah, um, my money back. Yeah, so I made Got my 100. those idiots. Yeah, I made my 100 back. So I was even, and then I decided to do a side bet and I won 50 bucks off that. So I was up 50, I was almost up 100 at that point. And then uh, we had three players and I think three players was a sweet spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were doing good and then he left, that third player left and it was just me and Hog and, and that's when we were starting to lose our money. We were getting tired. We were getting tired, yeah. Um, Mike started playing catch up and it's a big no no. We shouldn't be doing that. We threw all our rules out the window and. Uh, we were on tilt. Yeah, we were on tilt, so. So we did. We lost. What we were not yeah, to do. so basically, no going home with no, no money from uh, for us, but hey, you win some, you lose some. This, this year hasn't been our year for 
Oh. Blackjack. We have yet to win here. Yeah, we have yet to win here at the end of the Mountain Gods. The only time I ever won here was on a slot machine, and I won like 250 bucks. But yeah, I don't like slot machines. I mean, not to play seriously. So we came, we tried, um, lesson learned. And I did, I, I was telling myself, this last 50 is hard to double. And that's, I should have taken that as a sign and said, you know what, I'm done. Should have settled that, that with the other table. I told you, you don't have to play, just quit. I know. You were up so much. I get so I was uh, like, impatient. Just don't play. I know. I was up so much and I just shouldn't have, shouldn't have played. But anyway, it was fun. You know, we bring what we can lose, what yeah. we can afford to lose. Um, so, I mean, it was, it's worth it. I mean, we don't, we don't have, uh, we have one casino uh, where we live, but they don't have any table games. So, um, it's worth it for us. It's worth the entertainment, you know. Some people spend $500 on helicopter rides or hundreds on zip lining or God knows what else. And this is our hobby. So, I don't drink. I usually spent, when I used to drink, I, I usually spent more than what I lost in a month drinking. So, you know, it's it's fun for us. Anything else? Don't be on phone. Call 1-800-DEGENERATE LOSER. Oh God! Our parents watch the, these vlogs. They probably think we're going to be more degenerate gamblers. Degenerate. <laughs> we're not, mom and dad. We only play with what we can afford. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. But you live. You live to fight another day. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't know. I don't know, but we better Hey, pop pop. You're a big one. Hello guys. We're the pickled, we think. I think that's what it's called. The we haven't left yet. Oh, we're gonna hit the road. We're waiting for some sheets to dry in a dryer. And then we're gonna hit the road, but we decided to eat. Anyway, it's a small place. Yeah. Everyone seems really nice and really nice. friendly. So we haven't tried the food yet, so we're each going to have... We, we got here too late for breakfast, so we're each going to have a cheeseburger. Well, mine's without cheese. Anyway, we saw a lot of deer this morning. We uh, have to uh, throw our trash out at a dumpster. And so it's like maybe a two minute drive from the cabin. It's a nice drive. This is a bunch of deer all the time. All right. So. Let me show you what I see, and then I'll show you what Laura sees. You're so shy. You just don't know how to keep it still. Oh, this is what Laura sees. Yeah. Actually, it's more like that because this is where my eye is at, my eye level. This is good. Let's show them. <laughs> awesome. These are the best burgers we're going to have. They promised us the best burgers. <laughs> That's what it takes. That's what you need in a burger. <laughs> they promised us the best burgers. <laughs> High expectations. Yes, please. Thank you. I just have to do the choo choo. I got mine with everything on it. That's my burger, no cheese. Uh, got his cheeseburger. Swiss. Swiss cheese. And they let us know that these are not normal burgers. They are. They are, ask her again. <laughs> ask her again. What are they? What kind of burgers are they? Oh, our hamburger. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> Um, our hamburger, we use all the tailings off the ribeyes, the New Yorks, and the fillets, and we grind it into hamburger. And we just have amazing sauces for all of our burgers. We have a great mushroom Swiss burger. We have great guacamole burgers, uh, Rubens, Phillies, 
uh, French dips, uh, pomegranate chicken salad, and uh, Parmesan tuna. So come on out and see us. Awesome. Nice. nice. Thank you. Definitely. Okay. Cool. The pickled cowboy for breakfast and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool song. Good. Delicious. Nice. Very, very so, good. Cowboy, and uh, yeah, it's Mike's new uh, hamburger joint up here in Rio Doso. Um, it's not all fancy like, but it's uh, people are very friendly there, and the burgers are great. Yes, and, uh, just perfect. Uh, the place is kind of small though, so. I don't know how they'll accommodate many people, but it was still good. Still worth coming. Just if you come, try to beat the crowds. If you're ever in Rito, so. <laughs> If you're ever in these neck of the woods. Anyway. I recommend. He recommends. The Burger Connoisseur recommends. What say you? They have a lot of wood lying around. <laughs> They're the funniest squeaking sound. <laughs> look up here, look up here. Alright, well, we should hit the road. function again. And you were caught picking your nose. So what time is it, baby? The old ball and chain time. The old can make a straight point to another point. Gotta go over here and over there. She needs her drug. It's Starbucks. Some, some coffee. Look. We got to the pickled cowboy a little late, so I missed out on breakfast. I'm not gonna have coffee with a burger. It's just not gonna happen. So think of it as my dessert. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. I'm just rewarding myself for all the hard work. I did laundry, I cleaned a bathtub, I cleaned a sink, I cleaned a toilet, I cleaned a kitchen sink. What else did I do? Well, this one over here. Oh, I vacuumed a little bit. He helped me, he helped me vacuum, he helped me make the bed. Then he slept, he got more sleep than I did. What about your gambling addiction, sir?
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. You can tell. 